The Neotropical River Otter occurs from northwestern Mexico down to Peru and over to Uruguay. This aquatic and terrestrial carnivore is active day or night, and like all members of the weasel family, it is very active. To maintain this high metabolism, otters eat between 15 and 20 percent of their weight in food every day. Its northern neighbor, the common river otter, of streams and lakes of North America is very similar, but the sea otter is of a different genus that lives along the coast from California to Alaska. Unlike most marine mammals, sea otters have no blubber to keep them warm, but they do have the thickest fur of any animal, fur that has 600,000 to 1 million hair follicles per square inch. In South America, the endangered giant river otter is much, much bigger and travels in large family groups. Neotropical river otters live in much warmer habitats, so have much thinner fur that has two layers, an inner layer that insulates and is dry, and an outer layer of dense, oily, long guard hairs. River otters live in lakes, streams, and rivers that are unpolluted and free of development along the banks. They can live in small and large rivers and are constantly moving through the watershed in search of food. River otters forage underwater and grab fish, shrimp, crabs, mollusks, frogs, and even birds. Shrimp are favorites. Of course they are. In one study in Costa Rica, otters ate mostly shrimp and clingfish, ate bottom feeding fish. Since they need to eat so much, they travel long distances, so home ranges vary from 7 to 80 kilometers of river length. If they find a particularly rich food source, like a pond full of fish, they tend to stick around and eat most of them. Neotropical river otters make shelters and dens in cavities along the riverbanks. Scat on rocks and tracks in the mud may be the only signs of river otters. They are shy and are very well aware that humans are the enemy.